Hey, Jeff Howard here at KiteBuddy.com, and we're always talking about things, getting the questions to help you as the rider understanding a little bit more. Now, what I'm going to go through today is the width of a board, how to choose the correct width of a board. Now, most standard boards out there, about the narrowest that you can get right now in the industry is about a 41 centimeter in width. Now, what I want to explain is how it affects the riding ability. So, if this board was a little bit wider here, you would notice that you would have more leverage, more space along this rail. And a little bit goes a long way when it gets into uh, the width of a board compared to the length of the board. If it's a few centimeters on the length, no big deal. But when you start working in the width and you go from a 41 to a 42 or 43 and continue on, that has a huge effect on how the board rides and that is compared to your weight. So as an all around average type board, powered up width is about a 41 centimeter width. It's pretty standard that you may find some other boards out there a little bit narrower, not much, maybe down into the 40s, um, but usually a 41 is a good all around average in the width wise. Now, what you need to affect or what's gonna change as you go wider, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna be able to hold the rail in if you do not have the weight to hold that board down and to force that rail into the water. So the leverage along here is highly affected by little increments along the rail side. So if let's say you get a wide board and you're centered and you're lighter weight, it will be very hard to hold the rail on the heel side as well as the toe side. Now, when you go into a light wind board such as this, this is the Cruiser, these are designed to be offset. So it is a very wide board, but it's only designed for light wind riding. You're not gonna be riding very fast and aggressive on this board. So it off centers the heel to get you closer to that rail to hold it in. So riding this toe side is very difficult. This leverage space between where your center of uh, force is and the rail is what makes the difference there. So when it comes down to picking the correct board and getting the right width, it all depends on your weight and your riding style. Start out around uh, about the 41 is a good all around average type width. And as you gain weight or you're a little bit heavier rider, you're in the 185 to 190 to 200, jump up to about a 42, max at about a 43 centimeter width. That is a standard type ride all around twin tip board. So that gives you a good idea. If you have any questions at all, when you're trying to choose what board to ride and what sizes, don't hesitate to give us a call. That's Jeff Howard here at KaiBurning.com just to educate you a little bit further.